All right, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week. Just gonna go through and give you guys an update on how everybody is doing. Uh, some of you guys said that you haven't seen the ghost in a while, so here she is and she is doing very, very well, growing nicely. And she hasn't shed out in a couple of months, but still feeding her every two weeks on medium rats. No problems at all. And this girl is gorgeous, probably out of the bigger snakes, probably one of my favorites, uh, not counting the anacondas, but I just love her colors, love her um, her patterns, and definitely how her tail looks with the black rings. But man, she is super nice, super sweet, and very curious uh, most of the time, and really good to handle. She can be a pain to try to get back into her cage, but this time seemed to be uh, pretty well. She did pretty well on that one. So, gotta make sure we lock these up. Don't need any escapees in the room. So, we'll check on Mountain Dew. Now, I do have day old quail, and I'll probably try to make another video so you guys can see what's happening with her on the feeding. So, we're doing very well with her on eating now. She's eating a full bird, and she looks like she's hungry. I had her out earlier. But um, she will pretty much only try to strike at birds because she doesn't eat anything else. So now that she's on full-size birds and um, not having any more feeding issues, I got day-old quail for her. So I'm going to try to get her on rats. So I'm going to attempt to feed her the day-old quail, which are like that big. And then when she's almost done with the quail... I'll just try to sneak a rat in her mouth and hopefully we can get her within the next couple of weeks um, just eating the regular uh, rats just because I just want everybody on the same diet and the same food because it's easier um, on the feeding days, it's easier to get rats than it is birds and then if she stays on birds, as she gets older, she's just gonna eat birds for the rest of her life, and then I gotta find full-size chickens and, and all this stuff, it's just gonna be crazy. So, a uh, little update, redid Pop-Tart's entire enclosure. So this is my bigger female green anaconda, and then this is a female as well. So I re, I, I mean, you guys saw, I had the paper in there. Took the paper out, I actually got 100% cypress mulch from the local, um, I think it was, I forget where I got it. Lowe's, I think it was Lowe's. So it was three ninety nine a bag and one bag filled all this up, which is really good. Now I would not trust this stuff in, I'm gonna have to open this, so I apologize for, once again, the annoying glass sliding. We'll just open it just a little bit. So I really don't wanna put this stuff in the smaller uh, boas or the ball pythons because some of this stuff is like really big chunks of wood just because this is actual mulch for like plants and around your trees but she's big enough that she's not gonna uh, chew into this stuff and then mm, I would say 99% of the time she eats in her water anyways and who knows where she is she's probably buried herself or hiding um, so probably not the you know it's not the most spectacular um setup but she likes it and it's working so far and it's definitely better than just the basic um water tub and paper <laughs> which is not a bad thing it's easy to clean it's easy to, to to see where they make a mess and so you don't miss anything uh, i know a lot of big snake keepers do just use the uh, the paper lay it down uh, but you know as she gets bigger, we'll see what happens. I, I would like to keep her in there, but of course, pulling her out, all this stuff's gonna come onto the carpet. So it's just gonna be more cleaning and more of that stuff. So gotta keep, put a little bit more water in there for her. But again, almost every day, almost every day, we're, we're cleaning her water. So it is definitely a mess. And then with the ARS racks, everything is doing really well with that, um, except for one issue that I'm having. And I was told about this uh, 
when I was debating if I wanted to go with the ARS or the Freedom Breeder. Now, the ARS ones have slots in the front right here for ventilation. And then they only go to here. So just some holes up front and then there's no holes in the back. So on the ARS, you can actually um, tell them how much ventilation you want, 25%, 50%, or even 100%, I think. And so you can base um, the humidity as you personally want to. So on a couple of these bull pythons, um, I mean, they had some stuck shed on the top of their head, which isn't the end of the world. So um, I guess it's gonna happen. So what I think my plan is, is um, when I see them going to blue, and hopefully I don't, I mean, I check on the snakes almost every day, so I should not miss them going into blue. So when they come out of blue, uh, it normally takes two to four days for them to completely shed when they, when they come out of the blue phase. And that's just when um, their eyes get all glossed over and then they look really, really dull on the colors. So after that, I think I'm just gonna miss down the, uh, the bedding and then just keep some humidity in there for them or raise the humidity so they can shed really well but so this is the 2020 female clown pie or not pie just a pastel the pastel clown uh, so she had a little bit of an issue and then she had a little bit of an issue earlier today so she has some markings on her i think these are from bites um from the live feedings and they're getting much bigger i don't want them to be on live uh try, i've not really been trying to transition them over just because i can get lives so often but i really don't think that's a bite though because that's way too far down her her body to be at a bite because normally when they wrap them they'll wrap them up closer to the neck so i don't know what that is but hopefully on her next shed um, oh she shed too she can um, not have any more issues on that so this is my black pastel pied and she's getting more and more of these black spots on her which is awesome they're just randomly showing up as she gets uh, after she sheds out more and more so we have just a regular female pied and then we have the black pastel pied so those are the only two that we're really having issues with and then we can look at some of these other bows really fast. So where is he? So this is my male somewhere. Oh, here he is. So this is the Motley uh, IMG. And getting darker and darker, but they do take a little bit of time for that IMG to come out and uh, really get really, really dark enough so we can see on the head. I'm getting, getting some nice nice black on him and then the body should uh, follow along in the next couple of sheds since it's the IMG it's increasing so it increases the intensity of the color on every shed as they grow so it's super interesting and then we have the other IMG which she is in shed as well so she's in her water dish again I'm gonna have to miss this down because um, I don't I don't I don't know if they're not getting the proper humidity in here, but we'll have to see. And I really do like Repti Chip. I don't have any issues with them. Never had a complaint with them, so I don't think it's the Repti Chip. I just think it's um, the water dishes are too small to really have the humidity up in here. So uh, I guess I'll just have to miss it. So she's definitely getting a lot darker since when I've got since when I got her. And I love the iridescence on her. She's just super super pretty. So on this next shed, she's obviously going to go probably darker and darker. So it's definitely, definitely a good thing. Um, and then the temperature up here is 83. It was around 85, but I had the door open. So it definitely cooled things down. On the bigger snakes, the, um, the Argentine is in shed. So we'll have to wait probably another week until she sheds out, which is awesome because she's getting really big. And I have my 2020 banana clown, which I have to feed all of these uh, ball pythons. So if you guys are wondering, uh, some of you guys asked me if I had a Patreon. I do have a Patreon. Um, 
and I'm probably just going to be posting like updates on there every so often, do more lives on there, um, do live feedings on there because I really can't do the live feedings on the YouTube because everything gets shut down and then everybody wants to throw a fit about it, but I understand why. So I really haven't been showing the updates or the feedings on the ball pythons for that reason. But if you guys are interested in it for educational reasons, um, I will be posting that on my Patreon. So the reason why you guys cannot find me on Patreon is because um, I emailed them and they basically said like, you don't have any followers, which is fine, but you have to have followers for it to go into the Patreon algorithm. So once again, fighting through another algorithm, just like Instagram and YouTube. So the more people that come onto Patreon, the easier it is to find it. Um, but I do have the link in the description. You should be able to just click on that and it should take you to the Patreon if you are interested. And I do have the new Superfly Clown in here. She ate um, last week within probably five or 10 minutes of me throwing a live rat pup in here. So she's super small and she's, she's crushing uh, rat pups basically right out of the egg. So she should be shedding out soon because there's a lot of nutrients um, in the rat pups. And I'd rather have them be on rat pups because they can eat them very well. Um, most of the time, some people start them off on just mice and then they do have issues swapping them over to rats as they get older. And having a mice eater is not a horrible thing. It just takes them a while to get up to age. And then, but then again, some people have no problems feeding them mice and then swapping them over to uh, rats anyways. But personal preference, um, the breeder, John, who I got her from, she does, he does uh, feed them rat pups out of the egg, which is, which is perfect so that they stay on that. Uh, but that's really it. I'm gonna make another video of the feedings. If you guys are interested, we'll see if the Superfly eats again, which I'm sure she will. Not have any issues with that, but appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody watching the videos. Hope you guys have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you guys on the next video.